Hey, what's up guys? Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to maximize your interactions in Trainers Lodge Pokemon Masters EX. It's a little bit of a complicated process, so uh, stay with me here. Uh, first things first, uh, let's go to the Trainer Lodge. The most important first thing is making sure you have all the items necessary for the interaction, but that's not the detail of this video, so I'm not gonna go into that too much. I will tell you what items I will be using. I am preferring to use only these three items and not using boost juice because I don't want my max uh, max vibes to be triggered too early. Second thing uh, is I, I, I prefer to do six interactions in a go just to save time. And I'm going to, because I'm using all of my interactions in one go, I'm going to attempt to get the best hot topic for the character. And when I say best hot topic for the character, so I'm just gonna focus on Rosa in this video, but you can look up uh, different hot topics um, uh, uh, for each character yourself. So in my, uh, so somebody on Twitter has posted this really nice infographic listing all of this. Uh, it's data mined by Absolutely PM and made by Zamicio. So a bit of a shout out to them. Okay, so it's been reposted to my Discord. So you're welcome to check it out there as well for, com for our members convenience. Now, have a look over here is Rosa's super exciting. We really wanna be focusing on the 10 pointers here uh, where we can. Uh, we don't wanna be going for max vibes too early. If you don't know what that means, I'll, I'll explain to you a little bit later. But what max vibes are is when you, when you have enough hot topics uh, uh, chosen, then you will get max vibes which um, prevent attention loss and you, you're guaranteed two extra turns. Uh, now, hot topics are one of these at random, picked at random every time you start an interaction, but you can actually re-roll it. And this is what I'm going to do at this point of the game. Uh, so in, the, in this tutorial is I'm gonna re be re-rolling for the best, for the best uh, hot topic for Rosa, it would be places. Because as you can see, she gets a lot more choices under places than every other category. It will be different for every character. So have a look and see what you prefer. For Rosa, I'm going to say places is her best hot topic. So I'm gonna be re-rolling until I get places as my preferred topic. So let's go back to the game and press start. Hopefully it's not crashed. Oh, wait, I've got my pen mode on. There we go. Uh, so I'll be cutting this uh, video in and out, but I'll show you my first re-roll first, um, just so you guys know what I mean. Uh, and then I'll just keep re-rolling until I get places. So right now the topic is other, the hot topic. And for other, it's not too bad. I could live with it, but because I'm using six interactions in a row, I really would prefer to go with places, which is which has a lot more topics in the top tier, the super exciting tier for 10 points. So what I do for re-rolling, it's very simple. You just close the game and then you start it again. So I'm just going to show you the first reroll and then I'll head into, uh, and then I'll just uh, reroll off screen and we'll cut straight to a hot topic where I've rerolled for places. So let's, let's head into the trainer's lodge again. Uh, another thing while I'm here, very important for you guys to know is your first two, your first two topics that you choose will never reduce the attention span um, for the character. And the and you should know that the lower the attention, the higher the risk of the character ending the interaction with you. All right, let's have a look at our. So as you can see, I've still got all of my items, all of my interactions, and now I've got another hot topic which is friends. Okay, so I'm gonna keep re-rolling. I'm gonna keep doing the same thing until I get places. Okay, so we've got places as a hot topic now. And what we're gonna do for our first two choices, we're not gonna drop in attention. And that means Rosa won't leave the conversation. So it's important for us to focus on the big pointers rather than the hot topics. So let's have a look at what we got. We've got acting, secret bases, and Viridian City. We know places is a hot topic, but Viridian City is a very low tier choice and only five points. We want to go 10 points if we can. The other two choices were acting or secret basis. Now acting is not a hot topic, which is fine. That means we still have a good chance of getting all these other hot topics later on. So we don't want to be wasting our hot topics either. So we want to choose acting, uh, which will give us 10 points. 
Now, as you play along in the interactions, you're going to get um, multipliers and you, you'll get more points as we go along. So it's not always going to be 10, 7, and 5. All right, next up, we've got Undella Town, Your Rival, and Math. Uh, so Your Rival is actually top tier for Rosa. Now, I'm, I won't be switching back and forth during this whole video. I'm just going to, because I've actually got a second screen to show the interactions, just so my game doesn't crash. Um, so Your Rival is actually a top tier, uh, super exciting choice for Rosa. So we will actually do that one. Uh, and our other two choices were Undella Town or Math. Now, Undella Town is a second tier hot topic, but we won't quite need it just yet because when you choose a hot topic you will actually get um reduction in t attention um so so a drop in the reduction in it of attention so but it, it doesn't drop as much essentially the attention uh try to do a double negative there okay so i want to go with your rival which again will give us 10 points but Again, as we play along, you actually start to earn a little bit more points each time. So it's 11 points. Now, from this point on, we want to be triggering max vibes. We want to be minimizing the attention loss. So let's have a look at what we got. We got the Battle Subway, uh, which is, let me just double check that on the list, uh, which is actually a top tier hot topic. So it's super exciting. Hot topic, which is great because we want to get more points and we want to be minimizing our tension loss. Hopefully, she doesn't end our conversation at 96%. We're not too worried at this point because we get two extra turns for free. Now, if by in the off chance that she actually ends conversation, we don't get an extra turn after that. So the, this is just an extension, basically. So you do want max vibes from here on uh, to give you the ex two extra turns. So tidying up bug types of weather. Now, because you don't lose attention you don't need to get hot topics for max vibes. You want to get most points. Uh, unfortunately, no top tier choices here. Either tidying up or weather is fine. They're both second tier. So seven points, but there will be a multiplier. So we'll get 20. Pokemon Evolution is top tier for her. Uh, and just double check the others. Now the Hoenn region is, actually that's only second tier, but we still wouldn't pick hot topic regardless. We want to save the hot topics for later on. So we'll choose Pokemon Evolution, which will give us a base of 10 points. But because of a bonus, we get 28 there. All right, next up, uh, Nate is top tier. Overly helpful t is also, uh, helpful people is also top tier. So both good. Uh, we don't have places, unfortunately. Now at this point, I would actually prefer to go for Hot Topics since we're no longer in max vibes, but it doesn't matter. Uh, still, we get some good amount of points here. Okay, now I'm starting to get a little worried because 86% is not... It, we're starting to head into an area where she's getting likely to end the conversation. Giving a present will help restore that attention. Now, 86%, you could probably take one on one or two extra turns. But, but, but because I'm making a video, I don't want her to end at 86% and then I can't show you guys present because I'm using it slightly early here. We're back to 100%, so she can't end conversation. One more thing you should know, giving presents re-rolls your choices for topics. So you should really focus on air, uh, uh, when your attention is starting to get below 80%. That's my personal preference. Then give a good present because that restores 20% of the attention. Uh, plus, if, uh, and ideally, you don't have a hot topic or a top tier topic. All right, so back into, so we're, we're back into the choices now. The Unova region is good because that's both a hot topic for her and also a super exciting topic. So we're getting a big boost now, 16 points. Uh, raising Pokemon second tier. Elite Four is second tier, and Pokestar Studios is also top tier hot topic. Now you can start to see why I, for Rosa, I really want to get places as the topic rather than anything else. All right, so we've got Hue, Pokemon Contests, and Pokemon Natures. Pokemon Contests. Now, unfortunately, no top tier topic, nor places, so it doesn't matter whether I pick Hue or Pokemon Natures. They're both the same to me. Okay. Hopefully she still stays with us. Yep, yeah, good. So we're 10th topic in. Uh, we're doing good. It's not my best run, uh, but we're doing good so far. So let's have a look at what topics we've gotten now. Uh, between these three choices, there are no hot topics in here, but people who stand out is the best for points. So I'm going to choose people who stand out. So that's a base point of 10 points. 
Hopefully she stays with us. Yes. Wow, this is good. This is a good run. Pokemon Battles is top tier. Aspersia City is top tier and Hot Topic. But at this point, I'm actually not guaranteed for her to stay alive or stay, stay in the conversation. It, regardless, Aspersia City is still better than Pokemon Battles, even though they're both top tier because Aspersia City is a Hot Topic. So the retention drop, attention uh, drop is less, and that's it. I think I don't. I, I've rarely survived below fifty percent hot topic or not. So let's have a look at the points that we get. Uh, we will get a big boost because we did a good run, and we got a six times on the interactions. So how many points? We got fourteen levels up this time. So we did good. Now the one point three multiplier comes from the good present. If you can use an ultra present. Uh, so that you get 1.5 times the multiplier. Uh, times 6 is because I use 6 interactions at once, and the 183 are the points I've accumulated. And these are the presents I get. We're doing that. So, 89, and here are the stats. Uh, we did 9 super exciting, 2 exciting. You can see I've done none interesting. Interesting is the lowest tier possible, and we really want to be avoiding this at all cost because that, that gives us the least amount of points. Uh, you can see I really focused on the exciting. And I only did hot topics where after the first two interactions to really maximize the number of rounds I get in total. Um, so there are times you want to focus on super exciting. And then there are times you want to be focusing on hot topics. And there are times you have to choose between the two. It's it's not uh, it's not clear cut every single time. Sometimes you might feel that reducing the attention drop is more important. Other times you just want to maximize your points. I would say the lower your attention, the more you should be focusing on just getting points because chances are your character is going to end conversation. That's all from this part of the video. If you guys uh, found this helpful, please leave a like, uh, subscribe to my channel. I have a Discord. In my Discord, we've got community members, but I'm also very active and I'm happy to answer any questions you guys have. Uh, we have other members who also post daily about tips and tricks on how to sort of maximize the gameplay. Um, so a bit of a shout out to, to some of these members, um, uh, especially Shiny GMAX, who, who actually uh, told me about the first, so using, uh, utilizing the first two interactions to not have any attention drop. Um, okay, guys. Uh, Come find me on Discord. I'll leave a link in the description below. Thank you for watching.